Hi and welcome back to the channel. So tonight it's going to be clear again. I've got my SV Bonnie 555 out. It's mounted on my Zui mount. I'm going to go after the Vale Nebula. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Hope you enjoyed the content and if you do please put a like and a subscribe it would be really appreciated and for those of you who have come back welcome back glad to see you back and enjoying the content so as as i said in the intro i'm going to be shooting the val nebula tonight it's nicely positioned i've got a good two or three hours of astronomical darkness tonight and again tomorrow so i'm going to shoot this over a couple of nights and i'm going to be doing that with this the sv bonnie 555 to 243 millimeter f4.5 astrograph i'll be also using my one shot color altair 26c alongside that we'll be using the l extreme filter to bring out that nebulosity i'm going to be shooting 300 second exposures to try and make the most of that light gathering capability of this scope and also i found that that tends to really bring out that fainter nebula i found around the veil I'm going to take you a little bit of a video tour around the scope in a minute, but just to let you know, I'll be rigging it on top of this Zui, get my words out, Zui 17 harmonic mount. Um, this will be the third time I've used it, and so far it's, it's performed really well with some really nice um, guiding stats, keeping it well under that the beloved one arc second. It, it typically sits around 0.6 to 0.7 with no issues whatsoever. So it's been a really good buy. And the whole unit itself, including the scope, is really, really light. So light, in fact, you could quite easily use this as a travel travel uh, setup if that was something that you're interested in. Anyway, I'm going to take you inside now and let's have a look how this will frame on Telescopius and get the program set up in Nina. So here we are in Telescopius. Um, I use this particular software to help with my framing and just get an idea of what it would look like on the sensors. Um, you can obviously do this in Nina. We might pop over to that in a minute and have a look, but just wanted to have a little look in here uh, at what we, what we should be able to get with my setup. So the Val Nebula is a cloud of heated and ionized gas and dust in the constellation of Cygnus. It's really rich in hydrogen and oxygen. So I'm gonna be using my L Extreme and my one shot color camera from Altair, the 26C to capture this. And obviously it's one of the most visible parts of the of the Cygnus loop um, it's it, it's a stunning target and it's really well positioned for this time of year so if I just scroll down here it's gonna be nicely positioned for the session um, we're gonna I'm gonna be able to get a good at least three or four hours on this over the next couple Generate of nights I won't shoot it all in one night because of work commitments and that. I don't want to be a walking zombie the next day for work so uh, what I'll probably do is get a couple of hours tonight and a couple of hours tomorrow maybe about four to six hours in, in total um, so I'm just gonna pop my camera details in here so I'm using my SV Bunny and then I'm going to be using my Altair 26C so this will give us an idea of the framing so the whole loop there is going to fit really well in that sensor. Um, it'll leave me enough enough space around the edges to crop out any artifacts without really impacting the image. And it's going to fill the frame absolutely perfect. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. So I'm going to hop into Nina now and let's get this program set up for, for imaging later on. So here we are in Nina. I'm just going to go to the Sky Atlas, put in Veil. And then I'm going to add this to, to the framing assistant. Just wait for that to load up. Hopefully it should only take a couple of seconds. I do need to update that. 243 millimeters for my SV bonnet. So I'm just going to cancel that and reload it. The pixel size will remain the same because that was set up for my 26 mono. But now this is the 26 color. It's exactly the same pixel size. And as we saw in Telescopius, we, we did know this was going to fit particularly well in here. So I just want to zoom that out a little bit. Just want to get that more centered. Should put some lift music on while I wait for this to load up. There we go. So I'm going to get that nicely centered there and I've got some of the tail in there 
got the Western and Eastern Vale nicely positioned. What I am going to do is just go into the sequencer. That's all open. So go back into the framing. And then what I'm going to do is add target to sequencer and update current target. So it now says Val Nebula. What time is it due? Have a look in a minute. Um, so what I get, what I actually get it to do is slew and center, run an autofocus, then start the guiding. Then um, that just copies over the files um, from, the, from the laptop over into my um, cloud. Just so I've got them in two places. And then after 30 exposures, it will run another auto exposure. Obviously the Meridian Flip. Going to, all these are because I've got no equipment um, attached at the moment. So just take the notice of that one. And then I get it to run an autofocus if the uh, temperature changes significantly. T to be honest, because I do one every 30 exposures or so, I find that the, the focus holds fine anyway. So I'm going to be doing, I'd say, because I want to get three hours tonight. Put 36 in there and we change that to 300 seconds. The light frame, really normal, and then it will get the, ca the, the gain and the camera from the equipment tab that's already set up and I'm going to get it to diver every three images. Then at the sequence end it's going to part the scope, warm the camera, stop the transition and shut the laptop down. So that's all set up in Nina. All I need to do now is wait for the, the darkness to come and then we'll get cracking with this beautiful target of the Val Nebula. So I'm just finishing shooting the flat frames uh, from last night. Now, from the time I did the introduction to now, a couple of weeks have passed. So um, that night in, when I shot the introduction didn't really go as planned. Um, typically the clouds came in and then we were clouded out for a, a good few days after that. And then I went on holiday and I had a lovely time on holiday and then I've come back from holiday and obviously um, we've had a, a bit of a clear spell. So what I've actually ended up shooting was um, around two and a half hours on the veil, not last night but the night before. And last night I, I shot three hours on the iris. Now why did I do that? Um, purely because it was a moonless night. And when, when do you get clear and moonless? Not very often, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to shoot a nice wide field of iris. So I'm just doing the flats for that one. I'm going to get on with stacking and editing those. So what I'm going to leave you with now is my image of the Val Nebula, which has come out really nicely. And that was two and a half hours of 300 second exposures. And then I'm going to uh, also include a picture of the Iris Nebula, which is three hours of 60 second images so hope you enjoyed the video um, love it if you could like and subscribe it really helps boost the channel and uh, i just want to wish you all clear skies and i'll catch up with you soon thank you for watching bye bye